A huge boost for Rhode Island's economy. Hundreds of good-paying jobs coming to the ocean state after a Quonset business inks the largest naval submarine contract in history. Good evening and thank you for joining us on this Friday night. I'm Karen Myers. And I'm John DeLuca. Rhode Island has the highest unemployment rate in the country, but today could be the start of a turnaround. One of the state's biggest employers will hire higher new workers. And as ABC6 News chief political reporter Mark Curtis explains, that may have a ripple effect on the state's overall economy. Hundreds of electric boat workers applaud, knowing they will likely be employed a good long time. Congressional, military, and business leaders making the news official that the General Dynamics business will build 10 new U.S. submarines at a cost of $18 billion. It's also great for the economy of Rhode Island because it typically generates uh, several more jobs than the ones that electric boat hires. It's from subcontractors to vendors, so this is a good news. Initially, 450 new employees will be hired at Quonset Point, but that could rise to 600. When electric boat came to Quonset Point 40 years ago, it created 2,000 jobs. Now, with additional work over the years and this new submarine contract, that number will double to nearly 4,000. The jobs at Quonset Point provide a good living to thousands of Rhode Islanders and their families. But that's not all. Lots of businesses on Post Road are hoping for new customers, including Bravo Wood-Fired Pizza that just opened four months ago. Well, that should, uh, that should definitely help our, uh, our lunch business and even if people live in the area, our dinner business. This part of Post Road is kind of being revitalized. Uh, some other uh, new businesses have moved in and seem to be doing well. Many hope that as electric boat prospers, so too will the state economy. Again, I think it's going to be a real bright spot in helping us to uh, really continue to rebound and getting people back to work. This is the largest naval submarine contract in U.S. history. I'm ABC6 Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis.